During the second quarter, anyone, with, anyone in China was spending their money in the stock markets. They weren't really spending as much on Alibaba, which is why we saw slower revenue growth than before. Um, however, personally, I, I think this was a pretty good quarter, um, given the context. We saw mobile's uh, contribution to, rev to uh, transactions grow, and we also saw the mobile monetization rate grow. I think over the coming 18 months, we're going to see this continue to uh, increase, and as a mobile's contribution to uh, transaction grows, we're going to see much stronger revenue growth from mobile. One of the most important things during the earnings conference call was discussion about the deal with Suning, which is an online and offline um, retail platform. Essentially, this deal is all about logistics. Uh, Suning has 1,600 stores in almost 300 cities. Uh, it's got a nationwide logistics service. Now, something I've been talking about for a long time is that Alibaba's biggest rival, JD.com, has a slightly better logistics infrastructure. And because if you go into any shopping platform in China, all the products are the same, all the prices are the same. So the only thing that can differentiate between each platform is the delivery service. Alibaba has needed to invest in its delivery service for the past year, and it's been doing that. It's invested over a billion dollars into its subsidiary, Tsanya, and the investment in Suning is just going to combine with this to make sure that Alibaba has the best logistics infrastructure in the industry. Another thing we're seeing as well is that we see next day delivery in 41 cities, and this is going to reach uh, 50 cities by the end of the year. But one of the most important things that happened in July was uh, Alibaba tested a same day delivery grocery service in Beijing just for a week. And we're going to see this expanded into be both Beijing and Shanghai now. Now this is going to be a huge drive, not just for Alibaba, but for the industry in general. Supermarkets in China haven't adapted to technology. So you don't have the uh, internet shopping, you don't have the home delivery. So Alibaba and JD.com are investing heavily in this. We saw JD.com, they invested a lot of money into a supermarket chain uh, just recently, and Alibaba is doing this right now. So it's investing into its logistics infrastructure. And for a long-term investment, we're going to see this um, business line just continue to grow over the next few quarters.